Good morning, biscuits. It is a dark and stormy day. Like one of those classic Pacific Northwest. You wake up and you think, is it dusk? Because it's so dark. But it's quite pretty and damp. Um, we were going to go do a whole day of play today and go to a kids museum and see my sister. But it turns out that her schedule changed. So we might have to do that tomorrow. What today? Um, so we'll see. Oh, we're trying to get Tia Kia and Cedar to be able to come play with us. Way out in the yard, no. Oh no, I was thinking at that kids museum where we do the art and we milk the cow. Okay. Yeah. So I have to text her back and figure out what we're doing. Um, but we're gonna get out of the house and do something fun today. Maybe we'll go on an ice cream date. I want to go, go to the break day with me. Yeah, of course. We're gonna go have fun today. We're gonna do something. Oh, you know what we could do? I have a fun idea for what we could do. It depends on the weather. Let me check. Um, I kind of want to take him to a roller rink because I think that would be fun and burn off a lot of energy. But I need to check the hours because there aren't very many roller rinks left and they have weird hours these days. Um, so I'm going to look around. But we're going to find something fun to do today because I feel like today is our special mommy and me day. Um, and we're gonna play, 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 and we're gonna, we cuddled this morning, which was really nice. And now I'm looking out the window and it is, it's just so, like it rained all night. We were up and down all night because Abraham has been having trouble sleeping. Hey, Biscuit. Mom, do you think a mommy and me date? Today is a mommy and me date, yeah. Well, well do you have a mommy and me date? Maybe we could get ice cream. We get ice cream, we could go bowling what with hot dogs. Dish? That's uh, Unky Tally's, I think. Why did he left it here? He left it here, and what he forgot it. Remember, he forgot his earring and his um, his headphones. Oh, I look as tired as I feel because a lot of us have been sleeping well lately. Um, no, well, I have been sleep really, really not good. No, tell I me took about it. really late last night. You did. And a lot of other nice things. Yeah, how come? Because, because, well, what do we? These are the scary monsters? Yes. Yeah? You worry about having bad dreams? <laughs> no, we can't open that because we have the heat on. Well, I don't know how. I know, but we can't open it right now, so no. I know he's been worried about having nightmares and stuff, and that's been keeping him up. So we are trying to get to a place where we feel happy and cheery, and we will get there. I think we just need to have some more snuggle time. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, Biscuits, I'm going to get the day started. I'm going to get us some breakfast, figure out what we're doing, message some relatives, figure out when they can come play. I love you. Mm. You are going to eat you to your belly. You're going to eat me to my belly? He means it, Biscuit, so we a monkey. Mm, I love you, Biscuit Booners. Oh, how did you like the day in the life as I work from home? Um, I thought that was fun to do some, sorry, Bubba Goo, some of the behind the scenes of the things. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Like, not everybody cares what YouTube or Patreon creators do when, when they're working, but I think it's, it's fun to see. I like seeing other creators do that. Oh, I am gonna put like some. I wonder if I, I have some cucumber on my eyes. My eyes are so puffy from lack of sleep. Because Abraham has not been sleeping so much. Oh my goodness, I'm so puffy. Okay, let's get this day started. It's gonna be a beautiful Friday. Oh yeah. Happy Friday biscuits or whatever day you're watching this on. I am excited to have a beautiful fun day because you know what? It has been two weeks solid of bucket loads of work and I think Abraham and I are both ready for some fun. We kind of cuddled the mo hey bud. We kind of cuddled the morning away, so we are going to make some um, brunchy sandwiches. Cause it's not really lunchtime yet, but we were just feeling something savory. Step back, my love. So I am making smashed avocado sandwiches with uh, Colby Jack cheese and delicious. Uh, what do you call these things? Cucumbers, wow. Wow, that was eloquent. That was, I was gonna be like, maybe I should just stop and give up on speaking at this point. I should, let me show you. So I have a sprouted grain bread that I've been trying out. It tastes as you imagine a sprouted grain bread to do. Abraham does 
one and a half to two whole wheat sammies. Um, and then I like to do a cucumber. And then we always like to put Italian vinaigrette on our sandwiches. Oh, can that focus? Hello? Hello? There you go. Maybe? No? Oh, having a hard time. <laughs> so that was kind of our vote for, for brunch because, you know, that's, that's just the way we roll on our, our fry yays. I want to do pizza for dinner tonight. I want to do barbecue pizza because I realized I have more barbecue sauce. I thought I was out. Hold on, love. And we're going to do some turkey breast on our sammies. But you have to go sit down. If you keep harassing me, I'm not going to put meat on our sandwiches. You got to let it be. I'm going to put some pink <coughs> hair on my hand from him. I'm going to put some pink Himalayan sea salt on there. Yum, yum. Um, I still have not figured out what on earth we're doing for our day. But I think that's kind of nice, is to just have a mellow day. It's kind of what Abraham has requested. So I'm just gonna go with it and let's see. But, um, avocado, who here loves avocado? Raise your hand. I love avocado, it is so delicious. Oh yeah. And I think when it is this dark and stormy out that we have earned our um, delicious warmer weather association foods. I kind of feel like I should pick us up some fruit this weekend if I can find some. That is, that's one of my tricks for the winter in the Pacific Northwest is I try to make sure that we're eating a lot of fruit. I bought a big old bag at Costco of um, grapefruits that were on sale for like 98 cents a pound, which is a good deal. Um, and I've been eating those. And then probably I'll go try to find some kiwis. I might try to find some mangoes, see what's on sale because I definitely feel like this time of year it's hard for us to get a lot of raw fresh vegetables that are good tasting because they have to travel so far. Um, but I try to reliably do lots of greens, you know, luscious spinaches and arugula, um, frozen broccoli, and lots of carrots this time of year, and then throw in a bucket load of fruit. Um, so I think we'll probably have my last uh, grapefruit with lunch. And then I've been having lots of mango salsas and stuff just to try and kind of get through the, the winter blues that are never ending. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, I've been using that, um, what is it called? The spin brush that um, I showed you in the other video. I've been using it on my lips to try and make them more full and lovely because I felt like, I don't know, my skin was just really dry and wanted some exfoliation on my lips. So we're gonna see how that works over the next week because I just started doing that. What do you think? Does it make a difference? I don't know, it brings like circulation to the area. their sandwich unless it can be on the sofa and no mm -mm. Um, I've been letting them have a few snacks on the sofa when I was sick and I'm like this is not a precedent this is just the exception to the rule because <laughs> he eats so messily I mean all kids do um, oh my goodness the sass is alive and well with this one <sighs> I suspect that five is turning out to be a hard 
so far a hard day. <laughs> it's only been five for a tiny little bit. And I'm like, man, the sass, the sass switch just flipped and went on. Oh, did I cover my sandwich in potato chips? Yeah. Mm. Should I be that many potato chips? Clearly, yes. Yes, I should be. Um, why, why do you ask? Mm. I know, I, I'm notorious for making humongous sandwiches that nobody can fit in their mouth, but it's just so tasty that way. Oh, give me, give me patience, Lord, while I deal with a mind that is trying to find out how much power they can wield in a family, and it's only five, but dear God, give me patience. <laughs> Sammy time, otherwise we turn off the cartoon, we put on the B movie to watch. At his request. Um, if I keep doing this, it's because I keep feeling there's one hair that's in my face and I can't find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we never heard back from my sister, which is not at all uncommon. Um, it can be, yeah, notoriously so. So I think we're just going to kind of go with what we planned um, and go have fun because, yeah. Otherwise, if you... If you wait for my family to get back to you, and when I say you, I mean me, one just ends up never getting anything done because they will take them a week and be like, oh yeah, did you ever go do that? Well, no, we were waiting for you. Do you have family like that too? I have very unreliable family. I love my family dearly. Um, and they mean well and they love us and are supportive as best they can be, but boy, not necessarily in the way that I would like them to be. You know, their definition of supportive and being able to communicate are different than mine. Um, my, my brother that lives in Texas and his wife and baby, I mean, I so rarely hear from them. <laughs> and we're all forbidden from visiting them. We don't know why they won't let us come visit. They claim that they're just adjusting to having a new baby. But I remember when I had Abraham, I wanted everybody to come meet the new baby and say hi and, you know, wash a dish for me. Um, my poor me? siblings. This is turning into a sibling rant. Um, how many of you have lost of siblings? I have four. I have two sisters and two brothers, one of which would, would prefer that I call them a sister. So let's say three, three sister-ishes and a brother. No, we have to sit down for lunchtime. I'm waiting for you. That's why I'm talking to the biscuits. Oh yeah, did I show you? I put up, I'll show you this while I'm waiting for him because I'm trying not to eat without him because we've got into this pattern, I don't know if this happens to you, of not eating together properly because he won't come sit down, I'll be hungry, I'll eat, and then we're just kind of out of sync and I'm trying to get us synced back up. But I got this at my um, home goods haul and it's a calendar that's a whiteboard. So I can... Um, I can schedule all my stuff on here, pick out what it's gonna, you know, figure out what the month is at a glance, because I've just been forgetting too many things lately. Um, not because I've been getting forgetful, but I've just had, I've had so many work projects up in the air, and now Abraham's at an age where he has more things going on, and I have, you know, family commitments and stuff that just, I need to remember, and I wanna be able to look at something at a glance, so I'm excited that I got that. Um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to using that puppy more. I got the dates written up on it and now I have to go through and look at what day is which thing. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to keep February a little bit more loosey goose and not quite jam it in so much. I have to be in Arizona this month for my grandpa's <gasps> memorial. Um, so that's gonna take up a chunk of the month. But the rest of it I'm trying to Trying to let us just settle in and get back into our normal routine as mom is not so sick and we just have lots to do and kind of get our bodies in shape, get our minds in shape and um, kind of get stuff around the house done. And then maybe in March, I will start focusing on the yard again if I can um, and doing some stuff outside because I miss going outside, I do. And it's really nice to be starting to feel better to where I can imagine the idea that, oh, be able to go outside and move dirt around and you know use my chest muscles so it's a wonderful feeling oh look at the neighbor is that good abraham is puddle stomping out the front door and gave me a moment to look around the house and think oh my god how 
How is there so many little tiny things? He's so into making all of the confetti right now that it drives me crazy. There's just always little random toys and things to pick up and he'll grab like hair clips and things and stick them under pillows. So every time I pick up, I go, oh, it's clean. I swear to God, five minutes later, it's not clean. Oh, not even a little. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm gonna do one quick photo edit because he's outside playing. I know, I know I said it was like, I'm gonna resist the urge to work, but this one photo really wants to be edited and he's happy as a clam. Uh, that is the good thing about rainy season is, okay, it's always rainy here, but about the, the winter rain is it's actually really warm today. We have like a high of 52, 53 today, um, which is quite warm, really warm for this time of year. We frequently have snow this time of year. Um, so we can actually go out and puddle stomp and dig in mud and stuff. And it, he gets absolutely filthy. Like he's gonna come back in covered in mud. I'm gonna keep an eye on what he's doing. And it'll be terrifying, but he will have had so much fun that it will be worth it. So much mud. Okay, quick photo of that. Oh no, here, I gotta shake it up all the time. Okay, so we are part of our mommy and me day. Abraham reminded me, as I promised. Hold on, you know what? I'm gonna sit on this towel because the towels are cold. Cold floor, man. Okay, I'm gonna tilt you up, biscuit, because I don't like my, you can't see my nose. Uh, we are doing nails. So I did my nails last night while I was sitting next to him talking. Okay, you gotta stop moving for this. Um, when he was doing a bubble bath. And then it's his turn because he likes to do it with me when we do our nails at home. Okay, you gotta not move. Okay. Put out your other hand. Good job. Oh, if you move, okay. Should yeah. we do pink? No, you've got to do all the nails red. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought you wanted different color varieties. No. Do you paint your boys' nails? I kind of think that, you know, if they want to make themselves fabulous, nothing wrong with that. I feel like it also teaches boys to respect how much work goes into. Traditionally what? thought of as do fun mean, mama things. Do you mean buying this? Well, yeah, we'll buy it and put it on our nails. It's a lot of work. I never voice this. I don't even know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, you make a little here. A little bit, but that's because you're moving. There you go, so it's a little hard for me. Okay, you want another thing to do? Yes. When you don't voice this hanky, that means the toes next. Oh, you want your toes too? I didn't even do my toes. I want my whole helper wet. How about has to wet the child? Has wet the dry and then you can do all the other Well, let me, let me finish them up because then they dry together. Otherwise, you have to sit here a lot longer. Why don't you try it while you do it too? Yeah, of course. You have beautiful nail beds, my darling. Yeah. Well, I feel like I have kind of stuck. Well, what is drying? They're drying. They're working on it. Oh, look at these gorgeous you nails. I got my toes. I know. Hold on. We gotta let your fingers dry for a little bit because it takes a lot of patience. Are you enjoying your mommy day? Is it fun? Now, do you want blue toes, red toes, pink toes, or glitter toes? Red toe toes. Okay. Yeah. And then you can do pink toes and then blue toes and then glitter toes. Well, no, it's, it's, you can only pick one for each toe now. Why? Because you can't layer them on or they won't dry. Okay, biscuits, we're going to finish our pedicure, but I thought I wanted to bring you along for our. Oh, I'm so tired, mommy day. I want to get a nap in before we go play. Okay. Well, no, you can't layer them on, my love, because then they don't dry. Well, after they dry. No, but it doesn't dry right. So you can't just paint five different colors on top of your nails. Well, you can do different colors on each nail. How about one color on each nail? Okay, we'll sit down then. What? Ready for my nap. Give me a nap. Abraham, want to sing the nap song with me? I want a nap. No, I want a day away. I really want to taste.
done with that adventure. And sorry that there was a bunch of grab and gin stuff. Going to the gym. Hey, biscuits. Okay, we're done with the gym. Woo woo. I managed to run in there because Abraham was um, running away from me without my hair clips or my hair scrunchies, so I just went with my hair down. We did a good hour. I did very light workout because of my chest. It was the first time I've been back in months, uh, but it felt good to just like, you know, you mean when I know anxiety is going to come up for both of us? Just go and play. You had great fun. You wrestled with the people in the kids' gym area. He had a great time. And it was good to just move my body in. Healthy. And I think now we are gonna head home. Should we have some dinner? No, I want ice cream. Oh, you still want your ice cream date? You sure you don't want to save it for a pastry date tomorrow? Okay, I did promise my mom an ice cream date. Okay, apparently we are having evening o'clock ice cream date. Let's go get some nibbles. We're back. We did the little ice cream. We had a uh, we caught a banana split, which Abraham ate too fast for me to bother filming for you at all. It was gone in, I think, under four minutes, under three minutes, probably, honestly. And it was a huge banana split, but we split it. Ah ha ha. It was very tasty. Um, kind of late in the day for banana split, but I keep my word. And it was, I gotta say, a really yummy little Sunday. I want to show you my little Dollar Tree haul that I got. You saw that I was in there. So I went in there for a couple different reasons. One, I wanted to get a couple of these because I have a little... One of my cabinets, I keep all my tea in and everything. Um, and it's kind of exploding in my supplements and vitamins and stuff. And it's exploding, so I got two of these. They were a buck each. Um, and I think they're gonna be handy to hold the tea, and then I can just take it out and grab whichever tea I want, because it was just absolute chaos before. I also got these. This came in a two pack for a dollar. So it's two of these. Um, and this I'm going to put, I have a little shelf in one of the cabinets that is our snack cabinet and I keep it just so that Abraham can get to snacks himself and even though he can't open all of the containers yet, he can bring them and go, you know, I got this, this is what I want. So I got two of these and I'm going to keep the granola bars and, you know, fruit leathers and things that we keep in there, applesauce, so that he can have a little better access to it because, again, it's just become really cluttered and crazy. Um, not in like a fun way, just in a, oh, it's absolute chaos in the cabinet. Um, so for our Valentine's Day tree, woohoo, I got a couple of these foam hearts. Was this a tin pack? It's 12 pieces for a dollar. And they come in different colors. I'm gonna place those in there to give it a little more heart feel. Because a lot of the other Valentine's Day decorations I've seen that I could put in the tree, no, they was like 10 bucks each, and I just don't wanna spend that much trying this out. In that vein, this is a seven pack of these little sparkly hearts for a dollar, and I think that I'm gonna put those in the tree too. I like to keep them all cute and sweet. Um, and then I think that's, that's what I got, yeah. That's kind of gonna be done decorating the, the tree. Um, I only decided to add a few more things because I thought it's not, it still looks really Christmassy, so let me see if I can make it into a Valentine's Day thing. So for Abraham's class, I got bags. And I do this um, every year. I got a big thing of heart-shaped candies that are lollipops because, you know, some of these kids have different ability levels for dexterity and for motor skills, and I don't want to give them heart candies. They could dangerously choke them. Um, I got some ring pops because I think all the kids will really like this. It's one of those things that it's just awesome. Um, oh, and whatever I don't... Um, Whatever I don't end up using because I got a little bit more than I need for his. He's only got a couple classmates. Um, then we have our advent calendar or our countdown calendar for Valentine's Day. So I started doing this last year. Um, if I remember, I will link the vlog for it that describes what it is. Uh, so I fill up this little heart-shaped, um, heart-covered mailbox. And every day he gets one treat from it that he can stick his hand in blindly or he can pick it out. And it's, you know, bubbles or stickers or um, chocolates or candies. And so I put the extras in there so that he gets to count down, you know, until Valentine's Day. And then he gets one last treat on Valentine's Day um, at the countdown. And it's just a fun little thing to do because February is one of those winter blues months, I think, for a lot of people, kids included. It's not Christmas time. And last year he was really sad about it not being Christmas. So that's kind of what started this tradition. I like it. It's fun. I also got um, 
some cookies and cream, little heart-shaped bars. It'll go in the uh, countdown calendar for Valentine's Day and his um, classmates' uh, little bags as well. I got Abraham two things, or he got two things. So these are gonna go outside on a little protected area and he's gonna work on, he's been wanting to build a little fairy area. Let me see if I see the other one. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, he's really been wanting to have a little fairy area outside where the fairies can come in and I thought, well, that's gonna be really cute and he can have his own little world outside and it'll help build his imagination, I think. So I really, I like those two. Aren't they cute? Not the best lighting for them, but pretty cute. And then I got two of these, which I really like. They're little candle holders. Ooh, sparkles. And they're kind of fish scale, which you know, my beachy style house works for me. I think they'll be really fun. And I've really been trying to light more candles this time of year to keep us cheery and bright at night and to reduce all the anxiety we've both been having. So I really, I really like these. These just sparkle. And if they are really nice, I might get two more to put on the kitchen counter as well. Um, I really like that though. I thought that was, you know, buck each. Pretty good deal. We'll see how well they hold together or if they're one of those ones that crack easily, but I thought we'll give it a try. Oh no, stuff got on the bag from the car that Abraham spilled. Oh well. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I got this, which is, I dropped it. A little caddy and I think it's supposed to be a tinsel caddy for going outdoors but I'm gonna keep his paintbrushes and pencils and crayons in here because um, as of late he took the jar that I used to keep them in and is using it for their own thing so I decided okay we'll do a little caddy and that way he can carry it around when he wants and it's just easier for us to keep track of what's in where and he can actually use it to hold all of his pencils and see them instead of coming to me going I don't have any pencils save me and you know I love to save people, but sometimes you gotta save people by helping them save themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then last but not least, I got a whole bunch is how many is this? 40 hair ties because I am down to like one hair tie that my brother left here. No idea where all my hair ties went. I feel like just last year I bought a huge, like a couple multi-packs. I don't know where they all went. Um, this, cause I like to braid my hair when I go to the gym. Uh, and I have, haven't been able to find two hair ties to do my pigtail braids that I normally do want to exercise so for a buck we'll see how stretchy they are I kind of test them out in the store for stretch they seem good they don't have any metal on them which is always a requirement for me um that is my my dollar dollar tree haul oh yeah so you can go in and grab your own little fun valentine's day things your spring things uh oh the camera's blinking at me okay for however long the camera wants to blink at me for um so I hope you enjoy that I'm gonna go make us dinner and we are gonna then I'm hoping tuck in early today uh, We shall see how that goes. I'll probably check in
hey, this gets he fell asleep and then woke back up at like I mean, it was like 8 30 at night and is wide awake which is like the worst Paul I thought he was down for the night all tucked in nope <laughs> so we busted me making the advent calendar so this is a little box I got last year at the dollar store opens up it used to have a little mail flipper but Abraham pulled that off so inside I have bubbles, different chocolates, lollipops. At the very back, I have one of those little fairy forts that I showed you. I was gonna put the other one in, but it doesn't quite fit. So I have, I have 14 items, and each day, he, mine, um, he gets one, and I'll show you where I'm hiding it. So this is an upper cabinet in our kitchen. I had it all the way up there. Last year, I made the mistake of um, not hiding it, <laughs> and he completely just like ate everything within a week. Um, so I'm trying to keep that from happening. So it's up there, so we can see it. He can see it, and he knows that you know every day he gets one. Oh yeah. Oh, so I put the little tiny hearts and the great big hearts on there, and I put one big heart up there, and I think that that's pretty fun. I actually like it. I think that makes it just a little bit more Valentine's-y um, and fun and kitsch and silly. I like it. I like it a lot. I think that's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm going to head off to bed my biscuits because I need to get him back down. I suspect we're going to watch a cartoon for half an hour or an hour, try and get him back down. I can't believe he's it's just like, boom, wide awake all of a sudden. Um, I gave him a little snack because he skipped dinner because he fell asleep so early. And then once we're there, I'm going to tuck us in, put on a nice gentle podcast, try to get us real quiet because tomorrow we get up early and we go visit my sister um, who replied back. It's amazing. And we're going to go see them and their kids um, for a little bit and play. And so I want us to like actually be awake and conscious for that in the morning and not just be stumbling around like the other day when we, when he stayed up so late. Um, but hopefully... Rest begets rest. That's my hope, and he will fall back asleep. Hi, pink heart. I love my, my silly tree. I like it. <laughs> okay, biscuits, I love you so much Mwah! for watching, thumbs upping. Always click at the bell on these so that YouTube actually tells you when I post our new daily vlogs. Um, I try to post them at 7.30 in the morning. I will see you in the next video. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was thinking about when this will come out. So this video will probably come out on Monday, no, Wednesday? Monday or Wednesday, I have to look um, at when I get it edited. And you will have seen a couple days ago on my other channel, my second channel, that I have a new cleaning vlog out. So feel free to check that out for a little cleaning spo. The tree makes a big component in it because I was cleaning the living room and the kitchen and everything. Um, as always, I love it when you click on down do, 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 to the description box and check out all of my merch that I have on there. I have a new avocado tea and a new Easter chicken egg tea on there that's really fun along with all the classic merch and all of my mugs. Oh yeah, I will see you all around. Thank you so much for supporting my vlogs on here, supporting my work on social media, ordering those books and the merch that you all do. It is, it's really beautiful. I'm, Deeply appreciate it. So thank you so much for being so supportive and loving, especially as I start testing out this whole daily vlogging Michigas and figure out kind of how to get the vibe going and actually edit the videos and everything with my other schedule. So woo, I'm liking it. I'm enjoying doing these vlogs and I'm glad that I kind of set this as a goal for this year to do lots of vlogs because it's really beautiful to get to look back and see as your family shifts and changes and grows and life takes you in all sorts of directions, right? It's lovely to see that back. I really like it. See you in the next video. Bye, this case.